Guys, welcome back to another video. If you're wondering why I'm squinting my eyes, it's because I've broke my tripod and I've had to put my camera on the windowsill. And I've got the sun beaming in my eyes for some reason. Hey, anyway, guys, I'm going to be bringing you my predictions on the 2017 to 2018 Premier League here in England. And I've got a spreadsheet here, and I've just took what I thought, looked at the data, then put it into a spreadsheet of who I think is going to win. And who's going to be relegated from this season in the Premier League. So without wasting any more time, just going to say if you're brand new here, leave a like. And if you want to, subscribe because I'm going to be back making some more videos. Anyway guys, let's get started off with my first one. And in at number one, I have Manchester United. A lot of you will disagree with me for choosing Manchester United. But there is one clear reason why I have. Because if you look in England's game, you have some of their top players that people are pointing out are Manchester United strikers. They're there, and I just don't see how some of them players there can match up. Then in at the number two spot, I put Liverpool. As you know, Liverpool made it to the Champions League final, were only for their goalkeeper to be absolutely mocked afterwards for doing such a horrible job. But I'm going to say Liverpool are going to learn from their mistakes made in the Champions League and bring it back and probably get second, I'm saying. But then second for Liverpool. Come on. And then at number three, this season's winners, well, the last season's winners, Man City. I don't think they're going to do as well. I think they're on a winning streak. Some of the other teams weren't as good as they were, should have been. But I'm going to say Man City coming in at number three. This one was a little bit of a weird one, I didn't really know where to put these, so I put them quite high up the table, but Spurs, I put them in at number 4, I'm not too sure why, but yeah, I think they're going to do quite well in the season, they did alright last season, I think they can improve the game this one, so I'm going to put them in at number 4. And then at number 5, I'll put Chelsea, and why not, Chelsea have gone downhill in the last few years. And I reckon they can make it to fifth this season, no higher. Come on, Chelsea will be getting more than that. And then in at number... In at number six, we have Arsenal. Now, Arsene Wenger's gone. Their team is going to make it back up. But some of the supporters are saying, spot number one, spot number two. I'm not saying they're going to do that. It's going to take some time for the team to get back up to a spot where they're able to come first, second or third in the Premier League. And then at number seven, I have put Everton. And as we all saw from the World Cup, we all saw Jordan Pickford's performance. Absolute legendary goalkeeper. But that's all Everton have really got there for them, isn't it, really? So Everton, number seven. And then at number eight, I put Newcastle. Big up the true Geordie. Probably agree with me on this one. Newcastle. Gotta do alright this season, I'm saying. Come on, Geordie boys. And at number 9, I've put Leicester. These went from being Premier League winners to kind of dropping down a little bit. So they're around mid table where they probably should be. Still not near the top of the table where they were when they won it. And just below Leicester, I have put Wolves. Uh, like, as you get towards the lower the table, the team's like, level of ability kind of like drops and levels out with each other. Some of them should probably be in the championship. Derby Shanty should be in the Premier League. So yeah, it's kind of difficult. But then you have, do have other strong teams like I put in underneath that Fulham, who were all right last season. They did quite well, so yeah. I think they're going to do all right. And just underneath Fulham, I have put West Ham. Of their new stadium, that's been in service for one or two years, I'm not explaining. The old Olympic Stadium, I think that's going to do pretty well. West Ham, I think they're going to do pretty well. And underneath that, my team, Derby County, beat these yesterday, 3-0. I'm Derby County, I'll have you know our championship team, Southampton, Premier League team. We beat them 3-0 yesterday in a pre-season friendly. When I'm, when I'm recording this, we might not be asked to get it later, but yeah. So underneath them, I have Burnley. These will probably be in the Championship. They're probably not like level for Premier League, but some of the teams I put below Burnley should also be in the Championship. I should say that. 
And underneath that, a rather mediocre team, but I'll put it down the bottom for some reason. I've got Crystal Palace. Don't these should probably be in the Premier League. These are always like relegation zone teams, just avoiding relegation, so you know. And underneath that I'll put Watford, another one of these mediocre teams. One of those teams that should be balanced between Championship Premier League, not in either really. I like the same for underneath it, Brighton there, kind of like on Watford level. And then Bournemouth underneath. They're Premier League level, but just don't play like it. And then to the relegation zone I have put Cardiff City and then underneath that Huddersfield. That are just my opinions of what the 2017 no, 2018 they're just my opinion of what the 2018 to 2019 Premier League will bring. I want to know your predictions down below so comment it down below and I will do a reaction video to your predictions if we get enough. And if you want me to do my predictions to the Championship I will do that for you and give me another league I'll do my predictions for that as well. And as, and as I said at the beginning if you are new here don't forget to smack a like and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one.